top 10 black key songs um, I know that this is one of the modern bands uh, from today's music but I haven't really checked out any modern bands um, yeah I do, I've heard of this band I've heard some songs here and there but overall I'm not really familiar with their sound um, yeah, they have one song, you know, at the playground or something where kids, or they are dubbing the kids as in, you know, I wanted love, I need, you know, that song. I'm not sure how it's called again, but I don't really have a prediction, it's really the only song I know about them. I haven't really listened to them, but maybe I would really like them after this video. Who said rock and roll was dead? Welcome to oh, this stupid ass argument again. It is kind of dead though, I have to say. I mean, bands now are kind of too indie or kind of too pretentious or hipster for me. They're not really rock bands anymore though. Maybe this band, but I, I doubt it. Those are a shitload of artists there. Number 10, Everlasting Light. I, I believe Brothers is their debut or like their big Almost breakthrough the record. Brothers, it is kind of a generic uh, title, I have to say. Uh, they were active since 2002. They have a lot of solid records there. Alright. They still have to release a record in like four years, but there we go. I don't really care, but... And this sounds a bit... record like that since. The song boasts a classic music video that just gets better with every viewing and was certainly a main factor in why it's just a guy dancing around this shop or something, I don't know. I think that is a little bit cringe though, but hey, gets better with every every watch. stars yeah this is better I think maybe brothers is a salad record and you know when you, when you go back and back it gets better or something Laser shooting is like something really heavy or something. Pointing lasers at each other. Number seven, weight of love. Now this is from the new record. Or their most recent, I guess. The fifth single, Jesus. 
Yeah, but like every band is like that. In fact, vocals don't even appear until just after the two minute mark on this melodic track, which clocks in at That's nice. seven minutes, with two killer guitar solos contrasted by some of the band's top <laughs> vocals. This is actually pretty well. There's one guy, um, one of the guitars that actually has an acoustic on his back or something to play it later. That's pretty well though, I've never seen that. The question for other people for that, I guess. I believe they were like a two man band, but they recruited other members, I think, or maybe just live. This from my brother's records. Number six. Your touch. No. Magic potion. Yeah, I do think that their older stuff sounds better, more raw and more original. It, it isn't that funny. It is pretty weird though. They like collapse on their instruments and then they put a really weird egg in the fridge. I mean, what the fuck. Oh, this sounds pretty good actually. Um, Tick Freakness. Oh, this sounds really fucking good. Yeah, I do think that my argument is kind of true. How um, you know how, how earlier their sound, how better it is, you know. As in, their earlier stuff is the greatest, and their latest stuff is kind of whack. Or it's not whack, but it's kind of too polished and too predictable, I think. And this sounds really good, though. Okay. It's pretty good though, it's pretty raw. There's more older stuff I think. Number four, I got mine. 2008. Um, I believe 2003 was their debut. Once again, featuring a perfect combination of garage. No, 2002, which is still pretty good. I mean, after eight years, that's yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. And this sounds mellow. Number three, Little Black Submarines. Now, of course, it's one of their more modern songs. But probably that one broader song is going to be number one, though. Probably. Oh, a little bit. 
Uh, yeah, that one then greeted fan fleet or something. Fuck no, why do every uh, rockers have like a sweaty ass back? I can relate with that though, but every fucking rocker man. And they don't have a basis though, that's kind of a shame. They're, they're kind of like a more modern white stripes in a way. But more diverse. They have like a crowd of people that are about to die. I mean, so I was the best. Gold on the ceiling by El Camino. On El Camino. Uh, Howling for you by Brothers. On Brothers. Uh, Ten Cent Pistol with Brothers, on bro fucking on Brothers. That's a pre pretty funny title, I have to say. I'll be your man from the big come up. Uh, I I do think that it's kind of an accurate ar argument to say that um, their older stuff is kind of more rocking and more raw. Um, kind of for me, and I think the more modern stuff is kind of too polished to kind of sell out ish or something. The lengths from Rubber Factory. Yeah, this song. Yeah, I always thought that this video was really cringy though, with that kid kind of um, having that voiceover. Of the band, I think is really cringy. Number one, Titan Up. Oh, so and He's already a fuck boy at like age five. <laughs> oh, and then the hipster comes in and snatch the girl. <laughs> Mr. Studio Girl right there. And then he punches him in the face, man. What the fuck? Um, it's a good song, but. I don't know. So, kind of misses something. I don't know what, it's kind of misses a solo, I think, or. Misses something raw, you know. More rock and roll, I guess. I mean, the Black, we the black Keys are alright, but. I don't think they're really for me though, I have to say. They're they're just kind of too simplistic. They miss something. They're still good. They're still one of the better uh, rock bands out there today, but I don't know, they miss something for me. But um, maybe you are a big uh, Black Keys fan, let me know if you are. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. God bless safe God bless you, safe, take care. Uh, subscribe to the channel on the front videos like this one uh, like the video let me know what you think about the black keys i think they're all right i think uh, if you go back to the early stuff it sounds more raw and more energetic and more electric and when you go to uh brothers and post uh el camino and that new one i i i think that they're kind of too i don't know um, kind of sell, sold out in a way, but it just sounds less raw and more 
commercial in a way, which is not a bad thing per se, but it's I just prefer their early stuff, and even that is kind of after me. Uh, so let me know what you think about the Black Keys. I'm not the biggest fan of them, but I still like their signature sound, I guess. I just like something more uh, progressive and more something, you know, original than Black Keys. But, you know, still like them, so there we go. Um, yeah, all the, all the things you just said, and peace.